Goblin launch detected. Hey gang, and welcome to today's bonus video, sponsored by Into the AM. They wanted me to highlight their super amazing summer sale running from June 16th until June 20th, with amazing offers like 20% to 50% off select products. Some of the products that are on sale currently are graphic t-shirts, like the one I'm currently wearing right now, as well as I was wearing a second ago, graphic tank tops, and some select outerwear. With some of the most comfortable t-shirts I've ever worn, as well as some of the sweetest graphics, into the AM is going to help you roll into summer looking your absolute best. So please, be sure to use my link down below to let them know that I sent you there. Hey gang, and welcome back. Today's game was filmed in my basement, which isn't as menacing as it sounds. Because of this, we weren't able to record our opening hands, but that doesn't mean we don't have some sweet commander action coming your way. Nick is playing Hamza, Guardian of Ashirin. MJ is playing Toulouse, Clever Conductor. Max is playing Ginny Fey, Jetmir Second and I am rocking Zedru the Great Hearted. I win the die roll and start us off. I draw and play a Prairie Stream, which comes in tapped. Max plays a tapped Temple Garden. Nick just plays a Forest. MJ draws and plays a Plains. I have an Exotic Orchard for turn and pass. Max plays a Naya Panorama, passing as well. Nick has a Plains and casts an Aquastrand Spider and ships a turn. MJ draws, plays an Island, and casts Ominous Seas. My turn has an Island, and then I cast an Is It Signet before passing to Max. Max draws and plays a Mountain. He then casts Elemental Bond and passes. Nick plays a Plains and casts a Conclave Mentor. He grabs a counter from the spider onto it, giving it two plus one plus one counters thanks to its own ability, and goes to combat. He pokes MJ for one with the spider, and passes. MJ draws, and plays a swamp. They then cast to lose and connive, discarding a planes to the trigger. My turn has an island coming in, and I have enough for Zedru, passing to Max. Max plays a Plains, and casts Rin and Sari inseparable, and after that, passes turn. Nick plays a Plains, and casts a reduced costing Hamza, and goes to combat. He swings the Conclave Mentor at MJ for 4, and passes turn. MJ has a Command Tower, and they then play a Demir Signet, and a Viscera Seer, and pass. I draw, and play a Mountain. I cast Frantic Search, discarding 2 lands, and once that's done, play Arcane Laboratory, and pass turn. Max has a Rock Fail Veil, and then casts Jetmir Nexus of Revels, and makes a Dog Token off of Rin and Seri, as well as draws a card from the Elemental Bond. Nick plays a Blighted Woodland, and casts a Loyal Guardian. Moving to combat, he puts a plus one plus one counter onto all of his creatures. He then swings Hamza and the Conclave Mentor at NJ, who blocks Hamza with Toulouse, and then sacrifices it to the Viscera Seer, scrying one, and with Toulouse dying, gets the Connive card back. After that, Nick passes. MJ plays a Guy Reach Sanitarium, and they then cast a Solemn Simulacrum, going to find a basic, and passing. I untap, and on my upkeep, donate Arcane Laboratory to Nick to draw a card and gain a life from Zedru. I then draw for turn, and play a Rainbow Veil, and with nothing else, pass. Max plays a Forest, and casts a Quizali Slingers, and uses it to pop Laboratory, as well as make a Dog Token, and then draw a card. Max then plays out a Soul Ring, and goes to attack, swinging Jetmir at Nick, and Rin and Siri at me. Nick and I both take the hits, and Max then passes. Nick draws, and plays a Plains. He goes to combat, and puts a counter onto each of his creatures. Nick then swings Hamza at me, and the Conclave Mentor and Loyal Guardian at MJ. I take the damage, and MJ chumps the Mentor with the Solemn, but still takes 8. With the Solemn dying, MJ gets to draw a card, and Nick then passes. 
MJ draws and plays a planes. They cast a raider's wake and swings the viscerous here at me for one after it resolves. During their end step, MJ targets Nick with the raider's wake and Nick discards a card while I donate the rainbow veil to Max. I draw a card and gain a life on my upkeep from Zedru and draw for turn. I play Talisman of Conviction and then cast Day of Judgment. Nick then jumps back up to 40 life because of his Conclave Mentor, and after that I pass turn. Max plays a Battlefield Forge and then casts a Hero of Bladehold, drawing a card from the Elemental Bond. He then casts Jenny Fey for another card and then a Goblin Bombardment. This also has him donating my Rainbow Veil to Nick, and after that, Max passes. Nick plays a Zendikar Resurgent, and then just ships the turn. On his end step, MJ activates Gyreach Sanitarium, so we all loot and take two off the Raider's Wake. MJ draws and plays a Narset Part of Reveals and passes. My turn has me casting Cleansing Meditation to wipe away all the problem enchantments, and MJ responds by making a Kraken with Ominous Seas, and then activating Gyreach Sanitarium, so we all take another two, and with Narset out, I don't even get to draw, and I'm just forced to discard a card. MJ also casts an Asylum Visitor off the Madness, and then Cleansing Meditation resolves. After that, I cast Academy Rector, taking one from my Talisman for a white, and pass. Max plays a Tireless Tracker into Sozaken, making a Dog Token instead of a Clue. He then plays a Thunderfoot Bayloth and swings Ginny Fey and the Hero at Nick, and the two Hero Tokens come in as Dogs. They're going at MJ, MJ blocks and eats one with the Kraken, but still takes a hit. After that, Max passes. Nick draws and plays Avenger of Zendikar. He makes eight plant tokens with his Enter the Battlefield trigger and passes turn. MJ draws and recasts to lose, discarding the planes to its connive trigger. They downtick Narset, revealing Dismantling Wave, and then cast Jace, Brin's Prodigy, and pass turn. I draw and play End Hostilities. This destroys my Rector, which allows me to go and grab Sunbird's Invocation from my library, putting it to field. Max draws and plays a Cinder Glade. He then recasts Ginny Fey and plays a Requiem Angel. After that, he passes, and MJ activates Gyreach Sanitarium on the end step to make him discard a card while the rest of us loot. Nick draws and plays an Abzan Falconer, as well as a Hangerback Walker, putting two into the X. He then passes to MJ. MJ draws and casts Dismantling Wave, but I respond with Dovin's Veto. The Sunbird's trigger gets me an Oath of the Liege, and once that's all done, MJ follows up with a Sadistic Hypnotist and passes turn. I draw and play a River Glide Pathway. I then realize I missed my Oath of Liege trigger, so I just pass in shame. Max's main face has Keeper of Fables coming in, and he moves to combat. He swings Ginny Fey at me, and the Requiem Angel at Narset. Before damage is dealt, MJ responds by casting Swords to Plowshares on the Angel. With Ginny Fey connecting, Max gets to draw a card off the Keeper, and then casts a Groin Rites of Itlamok, which reveals a Perforos that he then casts. Nick has a Forced Return, and goes to combat, swinging both creatures at Narset. MJ chumps the Falconer with a Sadistic Hypnotist, and Narset drops to 1. Nick then recasts his commander in his second main phase, and passes turn. MJ draws and casts Supreme Verdict. Since we can't counter it, it resolves, and MJ then passes turn. This time around I remember my Oath of Liege's trigger, and go and grab a Plains. I draw for turn, and then suspend a Resurgent Belief, and pass. Max draws and recasts Ginny Fey again, dealing two to everyone with Perforos, and after that, passes to Nick. Nick draws and swings both Thopters at Narset. MJ responds by activating Gyre Reach Sanitarium again, this time making Nick discard a card while the rest of us loot. Narset finally bites the dust, and Nick follows up by casting the Great Henge and passing. MJ draws and plays a Dire Undercurrents. They then pass, and on their end step, I cast in Lighter and Tutor and get nothing off the Sunbird's trigger but go and grab Form of the Dragon to put on top. I draw my Form of the Dragon and cast it, getting a Sunbird's trigger. 
I reveal Moon Bless Cleric, putting it to the field off the trigger, which then tutors for Omniscience and puts it on top of my library. I then pass turn, dropping a 5 life from Form of the Dragon, and pass. Max draws and plays an Avenger of Zendikar, but fortunately MJ has a counterspell to it and saves us all. Max is sad as he has no follow-up and just passes, and at the end of turn, Nick activates the Great Hinge, gaining 2 life. Nick draws and plays a Colonian Hydra and an Armorcraft Judge, drawing 2 from the latter. He then activates the Great Hedge, gaining 2 life, and plays an Experiment 1 off of it. After that he passes turn, and once more, MJ activates Gyre Reach Sanitarium, which mills my Omniscience. MJ draws and recasts Toulouse, drawing a card off the Dire Undercurrents, and then conniving away a Plains with the Toulouse trigger. They then play a Waste Knot and pass. I grab a Mountain from my Oath of Lead trigger, and then deal 5 to the Colonian Hydra with my Form of the Dragon. I'm then able to cast Resurgent Beliefs on my upkeep, grabbing Omniscience and Arcane Laboratory off of it. Unfortunately, since I've cast my 1 spell for turn, I have to pass. Max draws and plays a Besaiju who endures. He then plays a March of the Multitudes, where X is 11. This takes out MJ and I immediately thanks to Perforos, and Max then swings the 11 hasty cat tokens at Nick for lethal damage, winning the game. Game review time. So I don't think Form of the Dragon was the go-to target for Zedru, I just couldn't figure out what to get. I'm just always looking for an excuse to play it, and thankfully didn't completely backfire in my face. I know that Ginny Faye is supposed to be Jetmere's second, but honestly she feels like the better of the two every time I see her. MJ's Toulouse deck was basically built to not have fun. As you saw, basically a lot of the cards allowed them to get crazy value while at the same time locking opponents out, like the Gyreach Sanitarium and Narset combo. Nick's Hamza deck is basically what you expected, Selesnya plus one plus one counters. A lot of the cards he ran basically helped allow him to cast this commander for very cheap, or basically pump up his board if they already had plus one plus one counters, or get some kind of value. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.